Hey guys, Jared with Van Do It, COO, and some people like to call me the mad scientist. Today's video is about showing you our business and showing you specifically the new facility that we moved into at the beginning of this past year. Due to COVID, we've had to lock down the facility, not allow people in, back off on tours, and really protect the output of our units for those people who'd waited longer than maybe you have but maybe you did not get that opportunity to come inside. So I wanna take you personally through our facility and really be able to show you the different departments at which your van will go through in our process and really crack down on all the things that we are continually trying to do as a company to make our product better and make the experience better and also give more value to you, the customer, at the end of the day. So with that being said, let's hop downstairs and let me take you through our facility. I am standing right now in what we call pre-production. This is the first spot a unit enters the building and the first spot in its long chain of events. Now for a unit to reach this part of the build process, it has to go through inspection processes outside of the facility. And those could be units coming off of fleet so that they are coming in from lease customers and they'll go through an extensive 360 point inspection to be able to look those units over and make sure that they meet the standards that Van Duet requires for a unit to come into process. The other way that units come in is they'll come, like the one behind me, directly from the Ford plant because they are brand new units and they still do have an inspection process after the plant, but that usually then takes a short bit. So the process of pre-production, when a unit comes into pre-production, this unit is going to come in fully loaded with seats, factory paneling, factory wheels and tires, all of it top to bottom is just like you see any unit on the road. But whenever it hits this line, it's gonna get gutted, it's gonna get ripped all the way down to the bare metal. Now, Van Do It, we reuse majority of the factory panels, so those go on carts that will actually travel with the van from spot to spot. But the seats are getting pulled out and getting repurposed and the flooring is getting removed and potentially getting one of those other wood grain finishes that you may or may not select on your build. Now, whenever it comes to the wiring and the insulation, majority of that process is happening in pre-production. Pre-production is a very copy repeat part of the business to where everything done in pre-production is the same for every unit. So if you hear your guru talk about that 30% that's the same in every van, well, that is all happening in pre-production. At the same time, your vehicle is going through pre-production and production. All of its components that are assembled pieces are being built in the symbol area, which is where we're standing right now. Now these units are built and then fully bench tested before they are tagged to a customer and then sent over to the production line to be installed. Now in this area, they're building everything from the gear slide all the way to the hanging cabinet. They're building all the different components that go in your live and your do model to make sure that the quality is in check, bench tested, quality controlled. The biggest thing about assembly is our electronics boxes. Our electronics box is completely built and designed off of a bench to be quality controlled and inspected before it ever enters your unit. We're now in production, also known as P1. And in P1, we're adding all those components that are on your build sheet classified as production add-ons. Those are anything that's cutting a hole in the top of the van for air conditioners or ACs, as well as going into your side boxes, what kind of electrical you're getting. All those different components that are fixed inside your vehicle are happening at this stage of the build process. So the units have come out of P1 and now we're standing in P2, which is where these units are behind me. Now P2 is anything that is outside the norm for actual production and those assembly built items we discussed to be put into the unit. So in P2, you're gonna get your front bumper, your rear bumper, 
your rear door attachments, like your ladders, or some of those maybe different little touches that myself maybe agreed to do for you in the process. This is also where a lot of kind of engineering goes into the builds to kind of double check, make sure that those little add-ons that we want to do now or for the future are tested out as units move through the facility. So now we are on the back half of the build process. We just came out of P2 and now we are in quality control. This is where units are opened up and they have multiple sets of eyes put on them to go through checklists to make sure that everything done previously to the unit was done to the right spec and the right way. We also check for different components, making sure it's not missing a component. And if it is, we're gonna get it handled while it's here before it moves further into the process. If a unit does have something that comes up in this chain, maybe like it has a crack in the windshield, so it needs a new glass, or maybe it has something else defective or something different, we make sure that unit stops here before we move it forward into the process. The last thing we want is that unit getting into that delivery area with still those issues that we could have found earlier in the process. This is one of the areas at which we had a very tough time in our smaller facility bringing on board to the level we want. Why is that? Well, because of the space. To be able to properly quality control a unit, they need to be inside and they need to be looked at multiple times in different ways. We recently put in an internal wash bay inside the facility, so we're gonna be able to start water testing. Every unit that comes out of P1 and P2, they're gonna get water tested as part of that quality control to make sure that those air vents, ACs, and how we attach the roof rack to the top of the van, they're all water sealed and checked. That's something that's not gonna be tested day one because we want it to be as real life as possible. So we're gonna check that on day 10 or day 14 after it's went outside, it's went and got all of its different things done. Like it's got its wrap installed, it's got wheels and tires, window tent, all those different things that are outside the building are gonna get handled in the process to be able to give us the most real life quality control we can before that unit goes into that delivery bay. Almost all the processes and all the product that goes into the assembly, the P1, P2 work delivery area, all of that is manufactured outside of our facility. But however, whenever we wanna do prototyping, we wanna create something new, create something different, something custom. We do have our own inside machine shop set up with water jet, drill presses, saws, everything we need to cut the materials that we use, we can do on a small scale in-house. We also have a row of 3D printers that run non-stop producing parts for delivery vans, but also creating the prototype parts that we might need for future builds. We are now in the delivery area, and in the delivery area, we are adding in all those accessories and components that you selected on your build sheet. Things like kitchen pods, fridges, lagoon tables, thermal curtains. That's all happening and being put in the vehicle, prepped and staged specifically for you for that delivery day. Also, final detail work is being done, topping off of all your fluids, and doing those little final double checks just to make sure whenever this unit gets shifted over to the delivery area, it is ready for you when you walk down the stairs. Your unit has made it through pre-production, P1, P2, quality control, detailing, which has brought us to this moment, delivery. The day of delivery, your unit is gonna be set up and staged and waiting for you for whenever Shayna and the team upstairs meet you, they're gonna bring you down to introduce you to your new unit, introduce you to the support team, who's gonna take you through a thorough look over and education of your van for that final setup of seat arrangement, component arrangement, to get you out on the road to start enjoying those adventures. Thank you for going through the facility with me, and I hope you can now see the inside to each area and why we set up our process the way we have to give you that quality and that ability to hit the road with your new Van Do It. So that's all I have for you guys today. Looking forward to see you on the next video. Deuces.